What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I'm going to answer one of the most frequently asked questions in the comments section on all of my videos, and that is, how do I record my iPhone screen within the DJI GO app? This video is going to be geared more towards iPhone users, as Android users will know, they have plenty of different options on how to record their screen. Apple usually doesn't like any of these apps to be let into the App Store, but I'll show you guys a little workaround. The cool thing about this method is that it will work with all drones, whether you have the Phantom 2, the Phantom 3, Phantom 4, Mavic, Inspire 1, Inspire 2, it'll work with all of those drones. The only thing you need to make sure is that you have an iPhone that is on either iOS 8, iOS 9, or iOS 10. But now that we've laid out some of the basics, let's get into the video. So first up, I'll show you guys the original way that I used to record my iPhone screen. Basically, you'll need your laptop, a charging cord for your iPhone. This charging cord needs to be able to sync your data, not just charge. You're going to have to make sure that you have the correct cable, and then obviously you're going to need your iPhone. Once we have all three of these things, let's plug our iPhone into the computer and jump into the computer screen. Alright, so once we plug in our iPhone to the computer and we're on our desktop, the first thing that we're going to want to do is open the Spotlight Search. We can do this by hitting Command Spacebar. From here, we will type in QuickTime Player. It should come up as soon as you type in Quick and then hit Enter. Once the application is open, we'll move up into the top left corner where it says File, click on that, and then click on New Movie Recording. Now from here, the FaceTime camera will open in all of its glory, but all we have to do is click on this little arrow next to the Record button and click on our iPhone, whatever it may be named. From here, we get a live feed of what is on our iPhone screen. This is actually pretty much what's on my screen right now, which is pretty cool. All we have to do is now scroll down and click the record button to start our recording. Now, although this method is great and probably yields the best results, you may be wondering, well, Billy, how am I going to use this if I need to plug it into the computer to record when I need to plug my phone into the controller? And you're absolutely right. This was just a quick method I want to show you guys just to start off from somewhere. In fact, you can use this if you want with the Mavic Pro when using Wi-Fi mode, as you don't need to plug into the RC remote itself. But again, you're going to get limited range from the Wi-Fi mode, and you also need to carry your computer around with you. So now using this first method, we're going to jump into the iPhone screen so I can show you guys how to record internally. What I mean by that is you're not going to need to plug into any computer or anything like that in order to record your phone screen. Now that we're on our iPhone home screen, I'll show you guys just how to download this application that will allow us to record the screen of our iPhone internally. Now, just to let you guys know, I am going to blow through some of the different pop-ups that come up. If you'd like, you can pause the video and read over them just for your benefit. Now the first step is to open Safari. Then in the search bar, we will type in Air Shoe. This is spelled A-I-R-S-H-O-U. From here, we'll scroll down until we see EMU for iOS Air Shoe. Click on the link, and then click Get in the top right corner. Click on Install, and it should be installing on our home screen. Now, when we try to go into the application, it says that it's from an untrusted developer. To fix that, we'll go to our Settings app, go to General, scroll down until we see Device Management, hit West Airco, hit Trust, and then hit trust again. Now we should be good when we try to launch the application. Once you've clicked through all of the different advertisements and the notifications that pop up, we can hit record and start recording from our iPhone. Now first we can choose the name of our clip, then the orientation, whether we want it to be in portrait or landscape mode, and then the resolution, usually I like to record at 1080p. From here we click next step, hit OK to allow it to use our microphone, and then from here we'll slide up, hit AirPlay, Billy's iPhone. Now it says that it can't connect to my iPhone and that's because I'm actually already recording my screen and there's some kind of interference, so don't worry, you shouldn't see this. From here, it'll begin to record automatically. You can swipe down and you should be good. Once you've made your recording, go back to the home screen, click on the top right to access those files, click on the file you'd like to save, and from here we get a bunch of different options. We can play, we can open it in another application, save it to the camera roll or delete it. From here we'll click save the camera roll, hit OK to allow it to access your photos, and from there it should be good. If we go to the home screen, scroll over to our photos, it's right there, able to watch. So there we have it, two different ways to record our iPhone screen. With the AirShoe method, one thing I did forget to mention is that you have to find a way to get the files off of your iPhone, whether you message it to yourself, whether you airdrop it to yourself on your Mac, any way will work just fine. But anyway, this video is coming to an end. Make sure you leave a like if you liked, and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. If you guys have any questions at all, make sure to leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. But anyway, as I said, this video is coming to an end. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.